Sean Moulton. This is Mike London's last stand, but he has the team in place to rebound. Athletic director Craig Littlepage resisted the temptation to make a change at the top in 2014, even after the Cavaliers finished 5-7. But here's the deal with the 2015 Cavaliers. They'll be in great shape when the other guys put the ball in the air, thanks to one of the ACC's top secondaries. Corner Demetrius Nicholson returns from injury, where he'll be joined by two of the ACC's top defensive backs, corner Maurice Kennedy and free safety Quinn Blanding. But to keep his job, London needs better results from his offense. Grayson Lambert and Matt Johns combined for 18 touchdowns and 16 picks in 2014, while Virginia ranked number 11 in the ACC in passing efficiency. The Cavaliers overall, they have to be even better, and they have to keep up the pass rush after generating 34 sacks last season. Meanwhile, the offensive line allowed just 16 sacks. It didn't matter too much to the overall bottom line, but there can't be a slip on either side of the ball. Remember when Virginia wasn't lousy at playing football? With three straight losing seasons and six in the last seven, it's been a long, long run for Cavalier fans. The problem this year, UCLA, Boise State, Notre Dame, all come before the ACC schedule kicks in full force. Even so, with a better team in place, it's bowl game or bust. The dream will be to win around seven games, but it'll be a fight to win more than five. I'm Pete Futak. To dive deeper into the 2015 Cavaliers, check out the full written preview on Campus Insiders.